Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into another Ruby Kisses unboxing. We're going to be doing a simple glam makeup look and we're going to be unboxing the products. So if you guys want to see what I got today and you want to see that makeup look, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my growing beauty YouTube family. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos posted weekly. Show your support, smash that like button, and let me know in the comments below if you guys are a Ruby Kisses Cosmetics fan as well. Share this video with friends and family, and without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they're always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers, this video is sponsored. Products mentioned are gifted, but this video is not being paid. I am an ambassador for Ruby Kisses Cosmetics and We Essentials, and they have such amazing, affordable drugstore products, skincare, makeup, everything you can think of, guys. You guys got to check them out on WeEssentials.com. All the products mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box below. As always, reviews, opinions, and thoughts are always 100% honest and authentically me because I am me and you are you. And even if we have the same type of skin, body, or hair concerns, what products may work for me still may not work for you. Always keep that in mind, guys. We all have different sensitivities and different skin concerns. Now, let's get into this unboxing and this really simple look. So I'm super excited about this month's box because we have some new launches in here. And, of course, some makeup products, as always, which I'm always excited for. So this is our card that we got in the box. The other card they sent in this box was for the new launch. It is the new Tea Tree Collection from Kiss New York Professional. It comes with three products, and we're going to get into unboxing these. If you guys are new to my channel, I don't like to talk about skincare too much unless it's first impressions or an update. So I will be doing these over on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. I will be doing that probably in the next few weeks. But I am just going to let you guys know a little bit more about these products and what they do. One thing I like about being on Ruby Kisses Cosmetics PR team is that they curate everything to me. So they pretty much know what I like and they send me products based on that. And I absolutely love the selection they pick for me every month. And this one, I'm just like super excited for because now we have some skincare in here. For reference, I'm 25. My skin concerns are hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, and acne. I also do have a slight bit of textured skin because I am blemish prone, as well as redness from inflammation. On the pamphlet they sent over with the three products, it says... This is the new tea tree collection enriched with tea tree oil, tea tree leaf extract, and Sika extract to reduce the appearance of spots and discoloration. The trio set comes with the tea tree clay mask, the tea tree moisturizer, as well as the tea tree invisible acne patches. So if you guys don't know, I am a lover of acne patches. I actually just recently tried some with tea tree in them and absolutely love them. But this one actually has added Sika, so I want to see how these go. For the tea tree deep cleansing clay mask, this is $7.99 and it helps cleanse impurities and dirt on skin without over drying. It also helps unclog pores to give your skin the appearance you desire and gently exfoliates to leave skin clean and soft. The Tea Tree Oil Control Moisturizer is $6.99, and it is a non-greasy and non-sticky lightweight formula. It balances natural oils to reduce shine throughout the day and creates a brighter and smoother appearance. And the last product is the Tea Tree Invisible Acne Hydrocolate Patches. These are $5.99, and these are hydrocolate patches that help to reduce redness and discomfort. It also helps to protect from dirt and impurities, and it has a lift me tab that provides easy and hassle-free application. On the back, they give you a little bit more about the benefits of tea tree and Sika. So let's just read a little bit more about that if you guys are new to any of those ingredients. Tea tree is an antimicrobial. It treats acne and blemishes. It controls excess sebum. It strengthens skin immune system. And it eliminates and prevents scars and hyperpigmentation from acne. Now, tea tree is an essential in my routine. I DIY my own tea tree toner. I actually did share this on TikTok before, and you guys loved it. Um, if you guys are interested, I could do it here on YouTube again, and maybe even some more DIY skincare. Let me know in the comments below. 
The benefits of Sika are antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It heals wound and regenerates skin. It prevents and improves hyperpigmentation. It soothes sensitive skin and helps to treat troubled skin. So the whole line is ideal for normal to oily skin, acne, blemish prone skin, and hyperpigmentation. The Oil Control Moisture also says on the back, it's shine free all day, every day. It hydrates and controls oil for clearer looking skin and provides a long lasting matte finish without that greasy or sticky feeling. In the Deep Cleansing Clay Mask, we have red bean powder, and this absorbs oil, minimizes pores, removes impurities, and is non-irritating. And it says red bean powder that is included in the clay mask exfoliates impurities and deeply cleanses pores, which leaves behind clean, balanced, and healthy looking skin. You apply this to clean, dry skin, and you wait 10 to 15 minutes or until completely dry. You rinse with warm water. And it actually says when rinsing off, massage the clay mask in circular motions, allowing the red bean powder to exfoliate dead skin cells and impurities. So it's really cool. It sounds like a two-in-one type of mask. And then, of course, we have our acne patches, which come with 30 patches. And it says fast result, excellent adhesion, and water resistant. You can leave this on for a minimum of six hours, or you can wear it overnight. I usually like to wear these overnight. They feel like they work better. So you want to use these on clean skin as always after your skin routine. No toner. Do not apply anything down because they will not stick. In my experience, when I've used acne patches, I've always had to do it on very dry, clean skin. Wait about 10 to 15 minutes after you're done washing your face and then stick these on and then do the rest of your skincare routine and you will be set to go. I actually like to use these during the day too. Now we're going to get into the makeup and do a look. But now guys, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So it's funny how we're unboxing this box, right guys? I did this on Instagram already, but I really wanted to get into the products with you today. But I got my third box and that's it. That's the glimpse you're gonna get. Now you gotta wait for the video to come out. So stay tuned for another uh, Ruby Kisses unboxing coming soon because from what I've seen in the box, the little glimpse, it's good. It's good. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get into the makeup products that we got in the box. The first one up is the eye makeup brush set from Ruby Kisses. It comes with five brushes and this travel size little uh, compact pink metallic casing. This is what the packaging looks like. And it tells you what brushes you get on the back. You get a blending brush, an angled eyeshadow brush, a brow brush, an eyeliner brush, and a spoolie. Here's the casing up close. And then your five brushes. I do actually have the tapered blending brush from the last box they sent me. And I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to try these out. These are how the brushes look. We're going to be doing a small little eyeshadow look. I'm going to go ahead and use some concealer to set my eyes as a base. Just so the colors can pop a little bit more since I'm not adding foundation. That's how my eyes are looking with concealer. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Real Horror Dream So Big palette. I wanted to do a little natural matte look since we're going really simple. And I'm basically just showing you how the brushes work. So the first brush I'm going to go into is this blending brush. I'm going to go into the shade Imagine. And we're going to use that as our transition shade. I love how small these are. I'm them really compact, travel friendly, um, airplane friendly if you're on the go like that. And as you guys can see, they're blending really well. The color is packing on nicely. It's not overdoing it. They feel really soft on the eyes as well. Okay, the next brush I'm going into is the angled eyeshadow brush. This is a fluffy angled brush, and I'm going to use this for the outer corner of our eye to darken up the crease. I'm going to take the shade Empower, which is this deeper purple right here. And we're just going to dab that on. I'm not going to be doing my brows because I completely forgot that I had this brush. 
so i will be testing this out in another video and i won't be using the spoolie either but it's your basic spoolie it feels very soft um should work the same way i'm gonna go back into the blending brush to finish off this look and i'm gonna go into the shade inspire and we're gonna use that all across our lid just to fill in the rest of that color Now the last brush in the set is the eyeliner brush. I'm not going to be using it as an eyeliner brush. I'm going to be using it for my highlight. I tend to like these brushes for powder highlights. So this is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to take the shade Dream. And we're going to use that in the inner corner of our eye. As you guys see, it works perfectly. It's small enough to get right in that inner corner. And we're also going to get right on our brow bone. The next product we're going to get into is the Ruby Kisses Lengthening Waterproof Mascara. It's actually funny because I did my We Essentials haul. If you guys didn't know, I will be sharing that soon. And I got the same one, but I got the water resistant one. So I believe it's the pink one. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm super excited. So let's get into this mascara. This is in the shade black, and this is what the wand looks like. It looks like it's really good for volume, and it looks like it will coat every lash, but we will see. It feels like it coats the lashes really nice. Let's keep going and see... How it is on billability. So that's one coat. One coat doesn't look too bad. Looks really nice actually. Let me go ahead and do my lower lash line. That looks really natural and nice. I'm liking it. So we are back. This is actually three coats. And wow, guys, can you see the difference? It has a lot of volume, a lot of length. I really am liking this mascara, and I'm definitely going to be using it more. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera, as well as do my eyeliner, and then we're going to get into the next product. The next product we're getting into is the Ruby Kisses 24-Hour Eyeliner Waterproof Pencil in the shade Black is Black. Now, this is a dual-sided pencil. You have your smudge brush on one side and then your pencil on the other. I'm not going to be using the smudge brush today because I don't want to do a smudged look or a smoky look. I'm just going to use this on my waterline, and then we're going to get into the last product. So we poked ourselves in the eye one good time. What's a makeup look without a poke in the eye? I do love how this pencil glides. It's really smooth. And just look at that pigment. All right, guys. Now I'm just cleaning up the under eye area with a wipey. The last product we're getting into is the Ruby Kisses Eye Bling Glitter Eyeliner. Now, guys, I used to have a problem with this eyeliner so bad. I've heard so many good things. I've seen so many people use it. But for me, I was a little sensitive to it. I actually just tried to test it out on my wrist and the inner arm to patch test to see if it was going to break me out again. But it hasn't. So I'm wondering if they upgraded their formula or maybe it was something I was doing back then. But we got the shade. I think this is Baby Doll. We're going to go over our eyelid with this glitter liner a little bit to give it a little bit more pop and pizzazz. I think this shade goes great with the color that I have on my lid right now. See, just like that adds a little bit of color. That's pretty much it for the look. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera. All right, guys. So here is the final look very simple again we just did the eyes pretty much today i added a little bit of gloss on my lips and that's pretty much it i am going to be taking some pictures and sharing this on instagram so stay tuned it won't be anytime soon but i definitely will have this look up for you guys i guess as a summer look 
since we all know summer, we're not really wearing the foundation and all the other complexion products. Also, I want to thank Ruby Kisses Cosmetics and We Essentials for sending me this box this month. I loved all the products as always, and I will definitely be using them for more looks. So stay tuned on Instagram, guys, again, and stay tuned for the next Ruby Kisses unboxing. If you guys liked this look, then please let me know in the comments. Let me know which product was your favorite and which one are you going to be trying next. Show your support and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to share this video with friends and family. And please subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. We'll see you guys back here next Thursday as always. And as always, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Later.